Welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be flying the Spark again. This time, I'm going to be using the uh, Polar Pro filters. Now, uh, I know they've been recalled, but uh, again, I I've been having pretty good luck with them. Uh, I have noticed in sport mode, they pull the gimbal down and everything. But uh, again, I'm still using mine until the new ones come out. And again, I want to kind of show you guys what some of the differences is uh, with the ND filters. I know there was a little bit of confusion in the initial video. So we're going to be flying with the ND8 filter today, and we're going to do some comparison shots. So I've already checked hover. I'm clear to fly. No, no, Tam, so I'm good. So let's go ahead and take this up, and uh, let's shoot some still and video footage. So just a head cam a little bit. So hopefully I'll get this in here. You can see the uh, the uh, filter on the camera. I'm shooting it. It's complaining about me being in front. Uh, actually, I'm going to start the video recording as I do my walk around so I can time it. But uh, so far it's looking pretty good. So... Uh, Let's let's go ahead and take it out. And I got a little bit of sun. I got to get back so I can see where I'm going here. So we're going to take it out over the spillway because I kind of want to get some water in the shot too. And uh, it's a beautiful July day here, so the beach is rather busy. So I want to. So the next best thing I have is the the spillway and so I'm just kinda of taking it out over the spillway I want to take it up a little bit more and so I'm out over the spillway I want to go over this way a little bit more All right, so when I'm capturing video right now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop, I'm going to do a couple different things here. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the video, and then I'm going to drop back into camera mode. And then one of the things folks said is that there were problems with uh, pano. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a pano and see what happens and see how it, uh, it runs. I'm doing a horizontal pano right now. And I'm at two of nine. And uh, it just stopped it stopped the panel. I couldn't see why. I'm gonna start it again. So uh, aircraft alright, so it's still it's going ahead. I'm at two of nine. And uh, yes. To standing, I can't make out. It flashes too quick, so it won't do the pano mode there. So I'm going to <clears throat> try shallow focus mode. So I'm shooting in shallow focus mode, and let's see what we get for an output from that. And it's going through with this. I'm going to go back to uh, pano, and I'm going to try a vertical pano instead of the horizontal. So they were apparently right. There is a problem with the... And I'm just kind of watching the screen here. And I'm going to try to get... Well, that didn't work. So I'm going to try it one more time. And I'm going to see if I can't get a screenshot. So it's doing the pano thing. Because that's a little bit of the problem with this. Whoops, I killed the whole DJI app. Okay, I might have gotten it there. So obviously there's definitely is a problem with the pano shots on uh, this. So let's just go back to single shot. I want to collect a couple shots. 
uh, for comparison of the uh, N8. So I've got a couple shots. So Pano fails, so that doesn't really work. Uh, let's go back and collect some video footage. So we're back to collecting video footage. So it seems to work okay in just regular video non-sport mode. So uh, if we just... Uh, I want to take a look at my battery. So let's just fly it up this way. Notice how it's it's the the gimbal's pulling uh, in the video. I think that'll come out on the copter's video. And I want to bring start bringing it back this way. So um, I still got a little bit more battery, but I want to bring it back this way a little bit and uh, the winds kicking up a little bit we're, we're hitting about a six mile an hour gust so I kind of want to be a little bit careful so let's do a real quick yaw party around see what we got here as far as beautiful day for flying out here again we're running the 8ND filter and sounds like we got a boat coming down the It'd be boat or jet skis. We should see them on the screen. Oh, I don't see them. The wind is starting to kick up a little bit, which is uh, making me a little bit nervous. I'm trying to hear them. I can see. I can hear them. I think you can probably hear them on my other camera. Yeah, I gotta be wave runners or jet skis. There they are on the screen. So, uh, anyways, I'm starting to get down there on battery. So I am going to, I am going to bring this back over. And I'm gonna bring it back down. And I'm going to bring it a little bit forward. And, whoops. Need to nudge it over a little bit. And I probably shouldn't have set my thing uh, between so many trees. Barn swallows are really getting in close to this thing. So I've got the red light, so I'm going to bring it in. And bring it over to the pad. And that's where I really like the landing gear, especially this landing gear, uh, even over the other ones. It, because this one sticks out a little bit further, so it makes actually landing in this taller grass a little bit easier if I've got to. And... Uh, let's bring it down... Okay, there we go. We just beat the battery, the low battery alert. So another good flight. So we've got the ND stuff. Again, I will have overlaid some of that on the screen. So you do a comparison of this. And I'll try to do a couple different comparisons uh, of this so you can kind of see uh, what to expect, especially once Polar Pro, you know, gets their stuff worked out. So again, you know the routine. Subscribe's coming up over there. Let me know what you're thinking about for lunch. Again, a great uh, July day. I tell you what, I can't complain about the weather. It's been really raining for the past couple weeks. Still a little bit more windy than I would like to fly the Spark. But hey, it's a good day here in Michigan, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.